Hello students, today we are going to continue exercise 8.3. In our previous lecture, we had completed first two questions. Now today, we are going to start question number 3. Let us start now. See question number 3. What is there? Tangent 2a is given as equal to cotangent a minus 18 degree and what we need to find we need to find value of a so in these kind of questions what will we do like in left side it is tangent and right side it is cotangent what we want both sides same trigonometric ratio should be there and i am going to use this formula tangent theta is equal to cotangent 90 minus theta in our previous lecture we had studied about these formulas so this formula i am going to use and i am going to convert this tangent 2a into cotangent 90 minus 2a right side remain as it is see now both sides cotangents are there if both sides cotangents are there that means angles must be equal so this was the trick what we wanted both sides same trigonometric ratio should be there so we converted tangent into cotangent now a very simple step we need to do a comes to left side 90 goes to right side we get minus 3a is equal to minus 108 multiplying both sides by minus 1 then minus sign will be removed and finally a is given by 108 upon 3 right and when we divide it 3 3s are 9 18 is left 3 6s are 18 so finally value of a comes out to be 36 degrees so in these kind of questions what we need to do we need to make trigonometric ratios same on both sides let's move ahead to question number fourth have a look fourth question tangent a is given equal to cotangent b okay this is given and what we want to prove to prove is a plus b equal to 90 degree and we had discussed that both sides same trigonometric ratios should be there like i'm having tangent a on left side and in right side cotangent is there let us convert this cotangent into tangent how can we write we can write tangent 90 minus b because tangent 90 minus b is cotangent b now both sides tangents are there so these angles must be equal a must be equal to 90 minus b and finally this minus b comes to left side we get a plus b equals 90 degree that is what we wanted to prove so we can write hence prove so this question was very easy come to next part fifth question here secant 4a is given equal to cosecant a minus 20 degree so still questions are same both sides same trigonometric ratio should be there only then we will be able to find the value of a so this secant we are going to convert secant 4a can be written as cosecant 90 minus 4a and right side already it is cosecant a minus 20 now cosecants are there on both sides so angle must be equal 90 minus 4a 
must be equal to a minus 20. This is 90 minus 20 comes to left side will become positive minus 4a goes to right side it will become positive 90 plus 20 is 110 a plus 4a is 5a. Look here now 5a is equal to we are having 110 degree. So, a will be equal to 110 upon 5. Now, let us deduct it 5 2s are 10 again 20 uh, 10 is there 5 2s are 10 again. So, what we will get value of a will come out to be 22 degree. I hope you are clear with these questions question number third, fourth and fifth we have covered. We are going to continue. Now, let us move to question number sixth. Question number sixth is also very easy. <coughs> have a look. A, B, C are interior angles of a triangle A, B, C. What we need to prove in this question? We need to prove sin B plus C upon 2 is equal to cos A by 2. This question is very important from examination point of view. What is A, B and C? A, B, C are the vertices of triangle A, B, C. There is one triangle A, B, C given. Okay, so, this is very easy. This is angle A, angle B, angle C and we need to prove accordingly. What we will do now? See, angle A I am going to start proof now. Angle A plus angle B plus angle C, it is equal to 180 degree. Why? By angle sum property of triangle, right? You can write complete sentence by angle sum property of the triangle. I need B plus C in my left side. Do remember I need B plus C. So, B plus C I am having that means angle B plus angle C is 180 minus angle A. So, see what I want to prove only B and C are written this angle is not written right anywhere. So, what I am going to change now I am going to write B plus C is equal to 180 minus A right and I am writing here using angle B as B, angle C as C and angle A as A. I am changing the notations now as per my requirement. Then I need B plus C upon 2 in my left side whereas I am having only B plus C here. So, I am dividing by 2, dividing by 2. What will we get? B plus C upon 2 is equal to 180 degree minus A upon 2. I hope you are clear with the question till now. This implies B plus C upon 2 is equal to 180 by 2 is 90 A upon 2 as it is. So, that means B plus C by 2 is equal to 90 minus A by 2. This is what I have proved as of now. Now, take left side, left side is sin B plus C by 2, okay. sin as it is instead of B plus C by 2 just write this value 90 minus A by 2 using first part first equation in fact which we have supposed. Now, sin 90 minus theta is equal to cos theta. So, it can be written as cos A by 2 using that formula this is equal to our right side hence proved. So, try to understand first we wanted B plus C by 2. So, all these steps we have done just to get B plus C by 2 value 
and then we took left side within one step we got our answer i hope you are clear with this question now we are going to start last question of this exercise and today's lecture question number 7 which is also very easy question number 7th is sin 67 degree plus cos 75 degree express sin 67 degree plus cos 75 degree in terms of trigonometric ratios of angles between 0 degree and 45 degree what we need to do we want to change these angles to 0 degree and 45 degree means between 0 and 45 we want to reduce these angles angles must be less than 45 degree how can we do it a very simple step 67 degree what can i do with 67 i can write it as 90 degree minus 23 right because if i subtract 23 from 90 i'll get 67 again cos as it is 75 i can write 90 minus 15 I hope you are clear. Ninety minus twenty-three, ninety minus fifteen. Nothing else I have done, and then sine ninety minus theta is cos theta. So I'll write cos twenty-three plus cos ninety minus theta is sine theta. I can write it as sine fifteen degree. So see, this is what I wanted to get. My angles have become twenty-three degree and fifteen degree, which is between. 0 degree and 45 so this is my final answer i hope you are clear with all the questions of exercise 8.3 in our next lecture we will start exercise 8.4 now please if you have not subscribed yet to our channel please subscribe it click on the bell button as well so that whenever we upload a next video you will get the notification thank you so much